What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you some no glue and one ingredient slimes and there's actually one I have never done before. Will I fail or will it slime? Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to try out is something I've seen on another channel and it actually worked using Listerine zero alcohol guys. Wouldn't that be awesome to have a clear no glue slime one ingredient also. So I'm going to pour a little bit of this in my little container here and I'm going to stick this in the freezer for 30 minutes and check on it later. Next, we're going to do this rose gold peel off face mask. It is so pretty guys. I'm going to get it open up here. A little bit of ASMR. I love the rose gold color because it's just so pretty. It actually reminds me of fall. Fall colors, jewel tones, it's gorgeous. Here's a surprise guys. Oh, I have a rose gold spoon. How perfect. I don't know if you can tell on video, but this is pretty like slimy already. It's actually got a thicker consistency than the gold one I've done in the past. I think that was the last video. Yes, it was the last video. Uh, so it's almost like glue almost. Pretty amazing. I'm thinking this might make slime. We'll have to find out. Okay, ASMR. Yes, this one's very thick, so it has a lot of potential for becoming a wonderful no glue slime. And it smells amazing. It's like some kind of flower. Next, it's time to activate. So I pour in my borax solution, which is one teaspoon borax to one cup of water. It doesn't seem to be forming anything, so I opted to add a little more of my borax solution. Now, if you add too much at one time, you could get a rubber ball and we don't want that. We're trying to make slime here, folks. Finally, it's to the consistency that I'm looking for and I'm thinking that I have made something here. Do we have slime? I'm just gonna knead it between my hand a little bit, my hands, I need both. <laughs> for a little bit and it's really ooey gooey guys what is going on here so it did not form slime but I'm gonna bring some baking soda into the mix because baking soda actually helps bring slimes together if they're too sticky that's just a little tip for you if you've never heard of that. So I'm mixing this in and hopefully I will get a more fibrous, stretchy slime instead of this goo that I'm left with at the moment. Okay, so I was seriously getting kind of worried, but after some doing, after some kneading, it started coming together. Now it's really sticky right now, but look at this. It's perfect. It's got the perfect consistency. It's not too tough. And here we go, ASMR. All right, guys, it's time to bedazzle this slime. I can't just leave it alone. Are you kidding me? What were you thinking? It's time to jewel this thing up. So I'm going in with some beautiful contrasting colors. I'm gonna pick this teal and I'm doing like a white and I'm doing a darker blue. Uh, I just think the blues contrast so nicely against this rose gold. Uh, so beautiful. I guess this is kind of be a take on mermaid slime. Does anybody make mermaid slime anymore? It's so beautiful. It was like a green slime or a blue slime usually, but I think this rose gold knocks it out of the park. Mermaid slime. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss another Will It Slime video. All right, back to this video. 
So I have this little pumpkin and I'm not really sure how I want to cut this, um, but I wanna see possibly if I can make slime out of pumpkin. Has anybody ever done that? Have you done that? I've never done it. So I'm gonna slice this little guy open and see what we can do. I was actually surprised when I got that cut. I was like, um, I thought there'd be a lot more seeds here. Um, it's a lot of flesh. But then as you see, opening it up, there are the seeds. And there were a lot of seeds. You know what else I was thinking? I'm gonna plant me some seeds. I'm gonna grow me a whole pumpkin patch. Have y'all ever grown a pumpkin patch? I think it'd be a lot of fun. It's like the seeds just kept coming, like a clown car. I know I reference a clown car like all the time, but really, I mean, I couldn't believe how many seeds were in this thing. I mean, it's crazy. Like there had to be in like 300 seeds. I mean, do you want to count them? I'm not, but it looked like about 300 seeds. Once I was done seed hunting, I decided to cut some of the flesh around here because I want to gather that flesh. That flesh is, that sounds so weird. That flesh is what I'm going to use to possibly make some kind of slime. So I'm getting the rest of them off the seeds. I'm just trying to get as much as I can, which not it's not a whole lot, but it'll do. The next step in this process was to process this flesh and seeds and combine them as one. So this is my little processor and I'm gonna put it together real quick like. You may have noticed I forgot Oops. the blade. Oh, wow. Yep, not gonna process anything without a blade. So stick that in there, put the, the stuff back in, and I'm gonna use my borax water solution because it's not gonna matter. I'm not eating this. And I'm gonna mix her up. Did anyone else find that oddly satisfying? So this is not the finest quality of, I'm gonna call it paste, uh, but I think it still will work. It's a little, I don't know, coarse. That's the word I'm looking for, coarse. It's a little coarse, but I think we can still make something with this. It's kind of like some nasty looking soup that you don't ever wanna eat, but sometimes you feel bad and you have to. So this is cornstarch. I'm gonna add this to this porridge, uh, for lack of a better term. Whoops. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit more and I'm gonna mix this porridge up. I'm finding it kind of amusing of myself that I called it paste, then I called it coarse, and now it's porridge. So what what, what would you call this? Uh, only nice stuff, please. <laughs> it's gross. So obviously this has made nothing so far. However, I'm gonna add in a little more cornstarch and see if I can bring it together. Booyah, there I did it. It's something. It's kind of got the consistency of a coarse oobleck, guys. So we just made pumpkin oobleck. Yes, it tears like oobleck. You can't see it as fine because it's not a fine, it's thick texture, it's thick, but it acts just like oobleck. It is a non-Newtonian fluid and actually it has a little bit of a slime quality in its stretch. Do you see the stretch right there? Pretty amazing. So we kind of made a slime oobleck cross hybrid, whatever you want to call it, but I'm super happy with it. Love this. And I love how it looks like a little prize or a present inside this pumpkin too. I decided to speed this part up because the flow took forever, but here's some ASMR. So guys, it's really easy to make these oobleck things. Just get some cornstarch and some water if that's all you have, but you can actually mix it with anything, cornstarch and whatever, oobleck. Time to check in on our Listerine. 
What do we got? Oh, it's liquidy. I don't know if you can see that, but there are like little ice chunks in there. It was in the freezer for 30 minutes and it doesn't seem to have made slime. What do you think? I have ice. It's so weird because the video I watched, it was like this beautiful clear slime. I would call that one a fake. Look at this, just clear water or Listerine. Not a water slime.